Welcome to Bombshell Bites. Today we're gonna to make a lemon garlic salmon using the air fryer, of course. So of course we're gonna start off with lemon. This is about an entire lemon. I sliced it, might have a little left over. Give or take. It's pink Himalayan salt, paprika, two garlic cloves, olive oil, parsley, and basil. So before you even begin with this, you need to preheat your oven, your air fryer, if you will. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of the salt. You might not need as much. I did grind this. Now, salt bait if you want. The thing about the air fryer, as you usually flip if you've cooked any animal protein on it, you usually flip the meat. But because this is salmon, I don't. But I'm going to show you how I get away with that. This is actually later. We don't need that yet. Put some of the seasoning on there. You could be a little bit more generous if you want. But I like the flavors to speak for themselves. So it's just enough to kind of dress it and when it cooks in. Salmon is one of my favorite things to make with the air fryer. I feel like it's so simple. Like it takes the guesswork out of it. You don't have to worry about it losing the moisture, which I think that's a problem that a lot of people have with your drier meats because you've overcooked it, you're not getting the right temperature. So you kind of massage that in. And you don't have to let this marinate really long at all. Just for myself, I'll just season it. And I usually try to stick with fresh salmon. Sometimes I'll have a frozen. And I found that you can season it and put it in there, like right in an air fryer, frozen and still get great results, but you're not going to get the flavor kind of like massaged in as well. Still have a tender meat, a fish, but it, it won't be the exact same. So see what you do right here. Now this glaze all pretty. That's the reason why I leave it last. And because I leave the skin on mine, I feel like it also helps seal it in at the bottom. And depending on if you're a black pepper person or not, just gonna place it on there. And the slices. Now that the seasoning is all squared away, we're gonna take the oven fryer drawer and we're gonna place the salmon here. But before you do that, I think it's best to spray. You have olive oil, avocado oil, something like that. I've tried using foil before because I thought that would make it easier. One thing, it was just harder to get through the little spokes, you know, because I'm trying to do it like how you do it with a grill. And then I felt like it was more work actually taking that out. Like removing and trying to clean the, just imagine how it sticks to a grill. Yeah, don't do that. Oil, all you need. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm a person that likes keeping the skin on, but one secret, I guess it is, um, to retaining some of the flavor throughout is to use the lemon slices and put it at the bottom. So whether you're a skin on or skin off person, you're gonna get some of that flavor since we're not going to flip 
the salmon at all. You still get it. It's gonna cook thoroughly, so you don't have to worry about any type of salmon oil poisoning or what have you. You follow your instructions. We're gonna bring that salmon in. So our last step was to place the salmon on the bed of lemon slices. There's really nothing else you'd need to do, but as this is cooking, you can start working on side dishes. And this is one of the benefits of using the air fryer, where you're not gonna constantly watch it. There's no grease popping or anything like that. There's, you can time it and just let it go from there. Just follow your manufacturer's instructions. 20 minutes later at 325 degrees, I have a perfectly seared, baked, almost like, for me, it's like a grilled salmon. You can see it's very toasty. And you have like the perfect blackened lemon, so it seals in that flavor and it's at the bottom of it too. Let's we'll see once I plate it. Since the salmon was placed on a bed of lemons, and there's the spray that we use. It's very easy to pick up. You might want to use a bigger piece. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Voila. Of course, you can use any side dish that you want. Kale is one of my favorites. But here you go. Super simple recipe. 20 minutes, and you can have a perfect salmon too. Just so you can see how tender it is, like break it apart. Depending on how you like yours, there's some people that don't want it cooked completely. medium, but you see it's tender, it's, it's flaky, the texture, get it all.